Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Witsy Creative Team. And today we're going to alter um, one of my journal covers. I'm actually altering the Canson XL Mixed Media uh, Journal. And I'm tired of this blue cover and I wanted to give it some of my own artwork and personality as the inside is getting pretty full and making me happy. I wanted the outside to do the same. So I pulled out these Delta Creative Ceram Coat. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're acrylic paints and I haven't ever used them before so I thought I would go ahead and play with these today. Um, got four different colors in the same kind of color family um, so that they will all work and blend together. I'll have the actual colors listed below in the description. Um, this journal cover was really inspired by this new Donna Downey signature stencil. Um, this one is called Artist Soul and I love her quote so much. I love her stencils as you all know by now probably getting to know me. Um, so yeah this is kind of the inspiration for the front of my cover. I wanted to have that quote on there. Uh, I pulled out some other stencils. You'll see them as the video goes on. Of course I have my Liquitex Gesso, some gel medium, and I also wanted to try the Inca Gold by Viva. Um, it's really really pretty. And then for the stencil itself I'm using the Dreamweaver stencils matte black embossing paste because I wanted that to really pop off of my page. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I always do, and especially for this because we want to cover up all of that blue and kind of print on there, is give it a layer of gesso. Now I ended up doing three layers. I'm just showing you one here. So I would dry it in between and let it sit and then add another layer and just applying it with a paintbrush trying to get into um, where those uh, rings are but not being particular. I was only going to do the front but then as I got started I was looking at the back and I thought I might as well just open up this uh, journal and do both at the same time so that the front and the back is pretty but I'm only going to put the quote on the front but I'll show you um, basically what I do on one side I do on the other so I don't show you all of it but I'm adding some tissue paper with gel medium and I kind of put uh, the gel medium on my surface as well as my tissue paper and then put the tissue paper on top and that gives it a, a smoother um, smoother <laughs> adhesion and then I kind of tore up um, the sides and just very organic let it tear where it wanted to kind of where the medium matte medium didn't completely dry all the way because I didn't allow it to dry all the way before I started doing that and then I added a light layer of gesso on top of that uh, just to kind of tie it all together and now I'm adding my colors which make me so happy and I'm just kind of dry brushing actually not kind of I am dry brushing all of this paint on my um, pages and um, so what that means is I'm not rinsing my brush with water in between picking up new colors so if I still have a lot of paint on there you'll see I kind of rub it off to the side um, or you might not see because I have it sped up so much because it's a long video um, but then I'll go into the next color and what this does is it allows those colors to blend uh, more I guess naturally because I'm not completely cleaning off my brush in between so um, it just it allows them to really uh, work together and blend together and I really like the effect that that gave and so I just kind of add color here and there um, and then I'll see kind of I wanted to bring in more purples it was getting to be a bit too teal for me so I added uh, some more purple dry brushing that kind of all over the page starting from the top and bringing it towards the middle and then I really liked I think it's the mermaid blue um, this color and I really like that color with the purple and so I kind of brought that one more from the bottom and up and just just dry brushing so you can see all of the texture from the tissue paper as well as the brush strokes which is the look that I was going for on this cover. 
So I um, finished adding that layer and then I wanted to bring in some more texture with these stencils and I'm just using the same colors that I used on the background so um, this will be very subtle uh, so you can see um, you can see some of the numbers but they're not um, totally in your face because I'm not using any contrasting colors like black or white I'm using the same colors that I used um, to color in the background and I'm just using a, a like a sea sponge um, to do this uh, you could definitely use um, like a paintbrush or you could use a makeup sponge and then um, I realized at this point that I completely lost all of the text and everything from the tissue paper uh, with all of my colors and layers and so I wanted to bring some of that back in so I just pulled out um, a stamp that had some text on it and now I'm going in and adding some letters uh, with that same sponge and like a, just the same colors because then I thought <laughs> that the black was too contrasting and too stark so um, yeah when I'm working and, and even when you're working just you just have to keep going until you're happy with it and you'll know when you reach that point um, so there isn't really any rhyme or reason for me I just kind of keep going and keep adding until I like what I wanted and I knew that some at some point in the middle I knew that I was going to end up here and I was going to be using this stencil with the um, Inca gold which this is actually the color is antique silver and um, I haven't used this product before either so this is kind of a learning process it is very sticky I'm using a makeup sponge to try to get that pigment um, through those that stencil that pattern and I kind of thought it would look uh, almost like mermaid scales in a way I don't know why I thought that with this uh, pattern of this stencil but with that shimmer and the color palette uh, that's kind of like at some point when I was working that was what I kind of pictured in my mind or imagined but I, I mean I think that looks really pretty I love the, I tried to get it more on the edges and um, and then not be so careful about if it got through the stencil towards the middle and then I did frame that out just using my finger in the Inca gold and went around all of the edges of those two covers you can see that and I really love this stuff I can't wait to use it some more and kind of um, maybe use it in some different ways uh, but it's gorgeous it's really pretty and shimmery so now here's the quote and I'm using that black embossing paste and just kind of adding it pretty thickly here and pulling it up and so happy with how it came out it kind of got a little bit under under that word her but it's okay I can still read it and see what it says um, I did add some splatters with some watered down white uh, Dina Wakely paint and I'm using that same paint and kind of dry brushing it with my finger over the um, the embossed or the raised texture of the quote and just to give it some more dimension and I think you can read it a lot better so you can see all of that pretty shimmer and shine and the texture and you can really see the dimension of that stencil and that quote it looks really cool I like it so I'm really happy with the way that my cover turned out I got to play with um, a few new to me products and I can tell you that I love the Inca Gold I really do love the uh, Delta acrylic paints they were really pigmented and very opaque because it kind of covered up all of my tissue paper but that's all learning process and um, just really enjoy how it turned out in the end here are some close-ups you can see that Inca gold it's really gorgeous it looks gold here but it is more of an antique silver um, almost like pewter type and um, yeah you can see all of the gorgeous texture and 
to mention on my page. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more ideas and inspiration, be sure to follow Blitzy on Instagram and their Facebook page, as well as check out Blitzy.com for more ideas from the creative team using all of the great products that Blitzy carries every day. See you next time.